Good evening. Hope you had a wonderful day of worship. Sunday, July 7, 7, 7. Amen. We are in Numbers 30 and interesting. It's talking about vows, keeping vows, and it really emphasizes women and girls and their coverings. For example, if a young girl is um, was still living with her father and she makes a vow and then her father, you know, objects to the vow, then she doesn't have, back then she didn't have to hold to that, you know, promise or that word because the father kind of objected and he canceled it. He had that power. He was the covering over that girl because she was still in his household. And the same thing for a wife. If she you know, made a promise and then her husband, you know, didn't agree with it. He was able to cancel it because he was her covering. And, and then in verse nine, it says, but if there is a widow or a divorced woman, mm -mm, there was no getting out of it. She had to keep it. And then later on down in the chapter and around verse 15, it says that if a wife um, or to make a vow and then he the, the husband cancels it later but then he changes his mind and something you know he would have to deal with the consequences so then I started thinking about how these females back then were covered you know their father their husband what have you and we know if in the day of grace now that God is our ultimate covering, right? He is our husband, our creator, the Lord of hosts is his name, Isaiah 54, 5. And I thought about this interview that I was watching with uh, Michelle Obama at the Essence Fest in New Orleans and Gail King was interviewing her. Something that struck me was um, how Michelle Obama is very confident, right? I mean, that girl has... Whoo, jumbo size of esteem and she said she mentioned in the interview how it was because her father and her brother would remind her how not only beautiful how smart how strong they would just um you know affirm her and i thought about all the kids that do not have that advantage of having either a big brother role or you know a male in the house or a father, or what have you, and or maybe not only kids, but maybe women, you know, and I was talking to neighbors, and just, we were just talking about um, just drama, and so many lives, and families, and situations, and where are the coverings for not only women, but, you know, males too? Well, I'll tell you, Lord brought to me, you know, Ephesians 6, the covering that we have to have, not only because our husband is our, you know, God is our husband, but the spiritual covering, right? The whole armor of God. Y'all, with so much going on, with what, plus 60 shootings in Chicago this holiday weekend, and just the mayhem, and just you you can rehearse it all with with the madness if you all you got to do is just talk to someone who works in the public um customer service retail my friend my neighbor was t tell, telling me about, about so many crash and grabs and theft and just chaos we are in a war out here and the most important type of garment that we have to have is that whole armor of god Right? The helmet of salvation, the feet prepared with the gospel of peace, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shield of faith, the sword of the spirit. We got to be equipped out here because it's crazy. Hmm. And I just want to encourage us to know that we have to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. We cannot stand and endure with the flesh, through the flesh, because it's going to get tired. But God is the source of all of our might, strength, power, and he'll give us resilience. So be on the lookout. I'm about to send a video. Um, it's called The Warrior Song, and I hope it blesses 
you as it has blessed me, even 12 years after the Lord gave it to me. But I am more determined to do the Lord's work. Um, tomorrow will probably be the last day of sending those music videos for this CD that came out um, a dozen years ago. And then um, just give a break because there are other CDs, but I'm not going to send those right now. Just listen to the Lord's direction. But know that we're in battle, but do not grow faint, right? Rely on the Lord's might. Okay, I hope you have a great evening and be refreshed in our Father God and have a good night's rest. Good night.